Sentosa's new sensory skate walkway is not only an artery connecting the north of the island to its south, but it is also aimed at getting more people to come to and stay on the island. As the island's visitor numbers rose over the years, its management found that the infrastructure could not accommodate the larger crowds. When visitor numbers went up, we found that capacity could not cope. So we wanted the sensory scape to be a passageway to enhance capacity and connectivity for people to move around the island, Ms. Tian Kui Ng, Chief Executive of Sentosa Development Corporation SDC, told The Straits Times. The 350M long thoroughfare, lined with towering sensory gardens, combining nature, technology and architecture, is an experiential attraction that officially opens on March 14. Spanning 30,000 SQM, it links Resorts World Sentosa RWS to the beaches in the south of the island. Before the sensory scape, the main ways to traverse the island along the north-south spine included riding the Sentosa Express monorail or shuttle buses. The north-south spine of the island originally comprised features such as the Sentosa Ferry Terminal and the Sentosa Musical Fountain, which were both located where RWS currently is. Attractions along the way included a 37M tall Sentosa Melion, which was closed in October 2019, after 24 years, and subsequently demolished. When the Melion was constructed in 1995, visitor numbers to the island were between 4 million and 6 million annually. This grew to an annual average of 19 million before COVID-19 hit. Visitor numbers are inching back towards pre-pandemic figures. With 15 million visitors in 2023, this is almost 25% higher than the 2022 figure. We are very encouraged because it puts us at 75% of pre-COVID-19 numbers, said Ms. Tian who added that the trajectory of recovery is mirroring that of national tourism numbers. Singapore's international visitor arrivals in 2023 reached 13.6 million, according to statistics from the Singapore Tourism Board. This is 71% of 2019 visitor arrivals. Of the 15 million visitors to the island, 6.2 million were locals. Ms. Tian noted that this was 30% higher than pre-pandemic figures. We are very encouraged by the results. We are optimistic about recovery and we are very heartened by how locals have embraced and keep coming back to Sentosa, she said. The $90 million sensory scape is the first completed project in the long-term Sentosa Brony master plan to reshape the resort island and the adjacent Pulau Brony into a premier leisure and tourism destination. Open 24 hours a day, it is also meant to be a boost to the nighttime offerings on the island. One of its features is Imagi Night, which comprises nightly light shows, digital floor projections across the walkway, and augmented reality offerings accessed through the Imagi Night mobile app. The experience starts at 7.50 p.m. and runs till 9.40 p.m., but may be extended if there is demand. We have some night offerings. But Sensoryscape will bring it to a new level, said Miss TN. Some of Sentosa's current nighttime attractions include the Wings of Time Light and Music Show, the Night Luge on weekend nights at Skyline Luge Singapore. Beachfront clubs, such as Tipsy Unicorn, and the ongoing Harry Potter, the Forbidden Forest experience. The Palawan at Sentosa's Ultra Golf, an 18-hole beachside course, and electric go-kart circuit hyperdrive are open till late too. Miss Tian said that while the Harry Potter experience, which takes participants on a walk along the Sentosa Coastal Trail to see magical creatures from the fictional wizarding world, is a short-term one with no end date announced yet. SDC hopes to continue the experience of the walking trail in a different form. We are in discussions for more such activations to fully leverage our natural assets and also the nighttime opportunities on the island. 
she added. Sensory skate was also designed with users in mind. The pathway has a gentle gradient and accessibility features such as ramps and lifts for the elderly and wheelchair users. Pets that are leashed are also allowed. Ms. Tian expects that those coming to Sentosa, for other reasons, will also stop at Sensory Scape and increase their dwell time on the island at the pathway. Whether it is a new or repeat visitor, this in turn will help catalyze business opportunities for island partners and also for the island in terms of the night stretch, she noted. Adding that partners can now design itineraries differently, incorporating more unique experiences. Ms. Tian hopes Sensory Skate will well guess whether local or international. We hope that is an icon of Sentosa, and every visitor to Singapore will come and take a look at it she said.